want people as they walk in just to be immersed by Earth, which is something that I feel like anywhere we don't really ever have an opportunity to experience. The piece is composed of roughly 3,000 bricks where they were used to build up a space, a brown space. I had invited seven different artists to sort of consider and ponder the idea of a brown space made out of brown matter. To bring it closer to the communities that I felt were inspiring the work and that I wanted to see the work. One of the things that surprised me of this biennial is to think about the cutting edge as being about engaging communities of care as a form of resistance. That kind of avant-garde is a very interesting line for us to cross now. It's particularly relevant at this moment and very urgent. To me, a museum is a lens that focuses our attention on something. I felt it would be interesting to put under that lens the idea of taking care of networks of living beings. We have uh, about 12 different trees in this exhibit. Three and a half weeks ago, they had no leaves and no flowers. So as the kind of installation goes on, everything's progressing super fast. I think of it less as just the trees themselves and supporting material and more like their network of things, the human beings, the trees, and the objects that are there. We have this obsession with the idea of accomplishing something in a positive sense, which usually means making a visible change to the world around us. We don't pay that much attention to processes and activities that don't make an obvious visible change in the world. And yet a lot of those processes are the ones that are the most crucial, you know? The thing about art and the reason why these banners don't make political statements, they make effective statements is because art is about like just you or you or you. It's just one person can read a banner that says, leave me for the crows. And they are arrested just for a second because maybe they know what that means to them. Maybe that just opens something up in them for a moment so that their humanity can emerge beyond like the political. I'm really fascinated by those kinds of gestures that aren't didactic political kind of like statements about what I want or what I need or what I want to change, but are much more about how do I see you? How do you see me? I don't think that we can get out of the situation that we're in unless we create more spaces and more platforms where our humanity can emerge. If contemporary art is something like the ritual of a secular democratic culture, then it should pose questions to us that are somehow we don't have the answer to immediately and we can't grasp so easily. I'm not saying this is easy, but I, I think it would be impossible without artists trying to show us who we are or what's possible, or, or even suggesting that the impossible is something we should strive for. No, we need to continue to experiment and explore and think of new ways of making, because I feel like those new ideas are what's gonna help us get through this moment and move into like the future that we wanna see.